Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Julia Wiegand. An early morning fire destroyed a business in Hazel Township. Multiple fire crews were called to a working structure fire at K&V Auto Sales at 39 Front Street shortly after 4 a.m. Flames could be seen coming from the eaves of the building. It took firefighters around 45 minutes to get the fire under control. At one point, the roof of the building collapsed and crews had to fight the blaze from the outside of it. Three tractor trailers were housed in the garage and destroyed. The garage is also said to be a total loss. There were no injuries reported in that early morning fire, and officials are still investigating to find out what caused it. A heavy police presence could be seen in many places throughout the greater Hazleton area Thursday. Though much information hasn't been released just yet, one official called it a large-scale law enforcement operation involving local, state, and federal agencies. Helicopters could be seen flying overhead throughout the day. Police departments received calls from concerned residents about seeing armed officers in some municipalities. Details of the operation are expected to be released by both the Department of Homeland Security Investigations and the Pennsylvania Office of Attorney General. A Hazleton area teacher entered a not guilty plea after being cited for disorderly conduct for continuously taking video at school. 49-year-old Michael Herbinko allegedly took photos, video, and live-streamed faculty and students at the Hazel Township Early Learning Center. The footage was taken without permission of the victims and happened on various dates between November 22nd and December 16th. Herbinko will have a summary trial scheduled and could face a fine of up to $300 or 90 days in jail. A Glen Lyon woman accused of having her children live in a house of filth faces child endangerment charges. Officials were alerted to the conditions of the Newport Township home after a baby died there the morning of January 4th. The mother, 39-year-old Charlene June Riera, was charged Thursday. Her five children, ranging in ages from six months to 11 years old, were allegedly living in filthy conditions at the home on Arch Street. Feces was said to be smeared on the floors, along with garbage, leftover food, and clothing scattered about the house. Her baby's death was ruled as accidental following an autopsy by the Luzerne County Coroner. The house was deemed unfit for human habitation, and the four surviving children were taken into protective custody. A Plymouth man is behind bars on child pornography charges. 39-year-old Christopher Robert Williams was found to be in possession of sexually explicit images of children, one as young as two years old. Williams is accused of distributing hundreds of images of heinous acts between adults and children. Investigators also identified a woman who chatted with Williams over the internet about him having sexual encounters with her own daughters. Williams was charged with 350 counts of disseminating child porn, possession, and criminal use of a communication facility. He faces 710 felony charges in total and is currently locked up at Luzerne County Prison. Coming up on WYLN News, it's all about tomorrow's 42nd annual American Cancer Society Telethon, plus the story on rumors circling the Freeland Police Department. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Sunny all weekend, just the perfect weather to stop on down to a telethon for. But I can't say the same for next week, though. We'll be right back. WYLN TV 35 and the Hazleton Unit of the American Cancer Society present the 42nd Annual Telethon. 42 determined to find a cure for all we do. The Telethon will be held Saturday, February 22nd from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at Premier Catering and Events at Janetti Ballrooms, 1345 North Church Street in Hazel Township. The Telethon is made possible each year by these sponsors. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. 
Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Bonanza Steakhouse, 574 Susquehanna Boulevard in Hazel Township, has an unbeatable buffet filled with something for everyone. Our menu includes the finest flame-grilled steaks, barbecue ribs, chicken, seafood, or sandwiches. You can add the buffet to any entree for a little more. Bonanza features daily specials. Join us Saturday and Sunday for our breakfast buffet that includes our famous omelet and egg station, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Attention, WYLN viewers, WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazleton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier, channel 507, and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. 42, determined to find a cure through all we do is the theme for tomorrow's American Cancer Society telethon. We sat down with chairperson Jane Dougherty to find out all the activities for Saturday's lineup. Our Julie Stefanovich has the details. Organizers and volunteers have been working tirelessly throughout the year to bring you the 42nd annual American Cancer Society Telethon. It will be broadcast live right here on WYLN from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. at Premier Catering in Janetti's Ballrooms in Hazel Township. The telethon raises money and awareness for cancer research and patient services. Everyone is invited to attend as there will be plenty of entertainment and activities. And we have probably about 200 tricky trays that you'll be able to purchase a ticket for. A huge bake sale with lots of delicious homemade baked goods. Mm -hmm. And of course our ongoing entertainment all through the day, every hour, we'll have three or four different groups, individuals performing, singers, dancers, we have a fiddler. Uh, we have lots of different entertainment. It's all local, it's all free. We invite you to come out and see what's going on. Plus you can see a live TV production of the telethon. Phone banks will be open so you can call in your pledge to help in the fight against cancer. You can see the people who are answering the phones. Every hour we have eight telephones ringing. We hope they're ringing anyway. Mm -hmm. And we will have six volunteers answering the phones plus two survivors every hour. If you are unable to attend, you can watch all the live action on WYLN. And you can make a pledge, 570-459-1212. Now that's an important number to remember because before and after the telethon, you can call that number to reach your local American Cancer Society. So if you are interested in volunteering or donating to the telethon, you can call that number. And that number is also available to patients, survivors, and their caregivers. If you're in need of information about cancer, please call that number and it's our local office and someone will help you. Funds raise stay local and help cancer patients and caregivers on the road to recovery. There are so many things that we do. We have a survivor group for cancer patients and their families called Surviving Together. It meets the first Thursday of every month at Perkins. And you can go there and just be with other people who share your stories and understand what you're going through. It's a wonderful thing. So I think that we have a lot to be proud of in Hazleton and we support things very well here. So stop by or tune in this Saturday, February 22nd from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. for the American Cancer Society Telethon. And don't forget, the magic number to call in and donate is 570-459-1212. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. Rumors were cleared up about the possibility of losing the Freeland Police Department at Thursday night's council meeting. Freeland Council members told a standing room only audience that they're working on keeping its officers. The police department has been working without a contract for the past year, and the borough's actively working out a new deal with them. Currently, the department consists of four full-time officers. Many residents that attended last night's meeting are pleased to hear that the department may not be disbanded after all. Voters in Schuylkill County will be using brand new machines in April 28th's primary election. 
The director of the Election Bureau said the machines are scheduled to be delivered March 4th or 5th. The new machines have a paper trail, which was mandated by the state for security purposes. This year's primary includes contested Democratic races for the 9th Congressional District and Republicans in both the 123rd and 125th legislative districts. Coming up on Hazel Township's News Choice, more ACS Telethon news and community in you, plus your week in review. So stay with us. CARES is a local and family owned agency dedicated to providing exceptional services for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities throughout Pennsylvania. CARES specializes in day and residential services, respite, home and community, behavior supports, and chaperone vacations. At CARES, the participants are the VIPs. Now contracting life sharing and respite providers, CARES, empowering individuals to maximize their opportunities and potential in their community. There are 125 used car dealers in town, but there's only one Churras. Quality vehicle since 1954. Voted the best used car dealer. Check out their inventory, see something you like, take a test ride. Churras Auto Sales. Call 570-454-7229. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and train comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Stop in at Two Italian Guys Pizzeria for the best pizza in town. Serving a large variety of pizza, stromboli, and so much more. Open till 3 a.m. Take out or eat in. Delivery available. Call 570-459-2783. Watch off the beaten path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. Welcome to Community and You. I'm Paul Ledegnan and if Jane Doherty is here, that must mean it's almost time it's almost time what is this 40 it will be time for the 42nd annual american cancer society telethon wow it's amazing and when is it coming up saturday february 22nd oh that's not too far where no, are we going to be no. we'll be at premier catering at janetti ballrooms okay so we have all of that and now we have to get into the nitty-gritty you have a theme this year. What is it? We do. It's 42, determined to find a cure through all we do. It's I'm not there all 42. Not but, all 42. But close. <laughs> close. <laughs> close. <laughs> and there are many changes, and the biggest change, the best change, is that we now have survivors who will come forward and tell their story. 42 years ago, there were no cancer survivors. Yeah. Now the world is much different, and there are many survivors, and most of them are willing to come on and tell us their story. And I think one of the best parts about that, too, is the fact that the, the survivors that you're talking to are all local. Yes, they are. Most of them have been treated locally, so they have stories to tell about how the American Cancer Society was able to help them. And they tell us about their doctors, and they tell us about their caregivers, who are very important to the process, the caregivers and the family members. And it's a delight to see them when they're, when they're survivors. Of course, you're a survivor the day you're diagnosed with cancer. Mm -hmm. But we have survivors who've been in 30 years, 20 years, and they wear that like a badge of honor. As, as well they, they should. should, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So give us an idea, Jane, of what the American Cancer Society, because when we do the telethon every year, mm -hmm. we're raising funds. We and are. what exactly do those funds go toward? We do have a local office in Hazleton. It's housed in the Cancer Treatment Center on East Broad Street. We have volunteer staff there several days a week. 
We will also meet anyone there at any time if they can't make those hours. So some of our money goes towards administrative things related to having an office and staff for that office. We do a program called Road to Recovery. That's a very big part of mm -hmm. our fundraising. So if you need a ride to treatment, you can get a free ride as many times as you need it. We have people who get rides five days a week for six weeks. Wow. And they have a volunteer driver who will pick them up at their home, take them to treatment, wait for them, and take them back home again. That I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I thought everything was... Nope. No. We have about 18 volunteer drivers who give very generously of their time, and most of them will take you anywhere you need to go. Wow, that is, mm -hmm. that is an amazing thing. What well, else? That's huge. And another big part of fundraising goes for research. Mm. We have uh, conquered some cancers and been able to treat some cancers because of the research that happens. And the American Cancer Society plays a big role in research for finding cancer treatments and cures. We have funded 43 Nobel Prize winners in the field of cancer research. Wow, I didn't know that either. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved? Uh, my very first beginning was because I was a member of the Leadership Hazleton class, and they said, okay, now your, your uh, class is over, now what are you going to do with yourself? <laughs> For what group are you going to volunteer? For what agency are you going to uh, find yourself some time? And I said, well, where do you need me the most? And a couple of my friends, including Clemmie Yamona, who's our longtime co-chair, said, we need you at the telethon. So there I went. and. Here I still am. <laughs> and, and I think, well, Clemmy, she's, uh, what would we do without Clemmy? And, and no one says no to Clemmy. <laughs> no one says no to Clemmy, even Jane. No, not, not even Jane. <laughs> and of course, uh, my family was also touched by cancer, as most of our families have been. Mm -hmm. So once that happens, then you realize, again, how important it is to fight for this cause. The very first thing is to call the phone number, 570-459-1212. Will connect you to a local staff person. They will talk you through whatever it is you need today. Uh, you can register for ACS services. That's usually done online, but the staff will help you if you're unsure of that or don't have a computer or maybe you're just feeling too apprehensive right now. Someone will talk you through that. You can go to cancer.org anytime and that's a good thing too. So if it's two o'clock in the morning and you're awake thinking, what is this all about? Mm -hmm. what, what's my treatment going to involve? How am I ever going to pay for this? All of those questions. Cancer.org is the American Cancer Society's website, and that will answer just about all of your questions. Jane, I want you to look right out at the folks out there and give us the date, give us the where, give us the when, and most importantly, the why. The why. Well, the why because, number one, it's the right thing to do, and we've all been touched by cancer in some way. Our telethon is an educational piece, so we're not only asking for your money, we're hoping to provide you with information. We do a project with second graders in the school district and all of the schools in the area for the telethon where they create a decoration. But it's more than a decoration, it's an educational piece because second graders can tell their parents not to smoke or to eat healthy or to get more exercise. So our telethon is a very important educational tool as well. We will have doctors and other medical professionals on talking about cancer treatments and advances. We'll have the survivors telling their stories. So there are many reasons to tune into our telethon. If you want to come to our telethon, we'll be having bingo. We'll be having a mini health fair. We're packed with entertainment for the 12 hours that we're on the air. Uh, there'll be 50-50 tickets, a wonderful bake sale and tricky trays. So you can do both. You can visit us, then watch the rest of it on TV, <laughs> or you can watch it on TV all day. And as a matter of fact, it's here. It, it is. It's here on WYLN. It will, it will be broadcast, as always, through the generosity of the Gans family and WYLN TV. It's on Saturday, February 22nd. It's from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., and we'll be at Premier Catering at Janetti Ballrooms. And we hope that you will join us either on television or live and support the American Cancer Society 42. I'm Paula Degnan with Jane Doherty, and we'll see you again on Community and You.
At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Catnapper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. John's Family Restaurant in the Churchill Mall. Enjoy a full menu with all homemade food. From breakfast, soups, sandwiches, entrees, and desserts. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner specials. The food is great, the price is right. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. You've seen university advertising. A student like me pitching you the same old ideas. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree. You can help anyone. Go anywhere, create! And with 20 campuses to choose from, you'll always feel at home. Look, Penn State is amazing, but your best years are just beginning. Come find out for yourself. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You're going to get a chance to meet my son, Ryan Tolan, who's going to share his chiropractic journey with you. traffic stop Sunday afternoon led to a drug arrest in the city. A 2015 Volkswagen failed to stop at Diamond Avenue and Grand Street just before 4 p.m. Sunday. When stopped, police noticed the smell of marijuana from inside the vehicle. A 15-year-old male juvenile rear passenger was in possession of suspected marijuana and multiple pills and later released to his father from Beaver Meadows. The driver, 22-year-old Wesley Beck Jr., was found to be in possession of 49.5 oxycodone hydrochloride pills, 41 clonazepam pills, and around 7.8 grams of suspected heroin fentanyl. The front seat passenger, 20-year-old Jason Kozdik, was also removed and detained. Beck was charged with possession with intent, possession of a controlled substance, and drug paraphernalia, as well as summary violations. Kozdik was charged with possession of a controlled substance and drug paraphernalia. Both were transported to Luzerne County Prison for overnight arraignment. Tuesday. A state grant's been sought to replace traffic signals at a busy intersection involving both Hazleton and Hazel Township. Officials and supervisors are working together to secure an automated red light enforcement grant for the traffic signals at North Church and 22nd Streets. The light borders Hazleton and Hazel Township. Resolutions were adopted by both to apply for the grant. The current signals at the intersection are nearly 20 years old, and both municipalities split the maintenance cost equally. It will take a few months until officials are notified if funding is granted to replace the lights. Wednesday, a high school teacher at Elmer L. Myers Jr. and Senior High School was killed in a motor vehicle accident during the Wednesday morning commute. 57-year-old Terry Williams of Plains Township crashed into a utility pole on Cary Avenue around 6.30 a.m. Investigators believe she may have suffered from a medical condition that caused her to veer off the road. She was pronounced dead after being transported to the hospital. Thursday, the Hazleton Area School Board is reviewing ways to expand to fit the needs of its student population while keeping costs low. Board members recently entertained the thought of moving ninth grade students to another building to make more room at the high school. At Wednesday night's meeting, plans were discussed for expanding the cafeteria and adding six to eight classrooms instead of the proposed 12 that would have cut the tentative spending plan from $20.3 million to around $11.6 million. The board also decided to set aside plans to convert the warehouse at the Career Center into a special education center, at least for the time being. The next Hazleton Area School Board meeting will be held Thursday, February 27th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium of West Hazleton Elementary Middle School due to work being done at the administration building. Friday. An early morning fire destroyed a business in Hazel Township. Multiple fire crews were called to a working structure fire at K&V Auto Sales at 39 Front Street shortly after 4 a.m. Flames could be seen coming from the eaves of the building. It took firefighters around 45 minutes to get the fire under control. At one point, the roof of the building collapsed, 
and crews had to fight the blaze from the outside of it. Three tractor trailers were housed in the garage and were destroyed. The garage is also said to be a total loss. There were no injuries reported in that early morning fire, and officials are still investigating to find out what caused it. That's it for your Week in Review, here on WYLN News. And speaking of the telethon, you'll also have the opportunity to place your order for this year's American Cancer Society's Daffodil Sale. The mini potted daffodils are $5 each, and the deadline to order the flowers is March 2nd. You can contact any ACS committee member or call 570-459-1212 to place your order. The daffodils can be picked up on March 11th at First Presbyterian Church at 201 West Broad Street in Hazleton from 1 to 3 p.m. You can also place an order if you're planning on coming out to the telethon tomorrow at Premier Catering and Genetti's Ballrooms in Hazel Township. That's the news. Remember, you can get news updates on our WYLN News Facebook page. If you'd like to see an event promoted on our newscast, visit WYLNTV.com to submit a request form. We hope to see everyone at the telethon. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN TV. WYLN TV 35 and the Hazleton Unit of the American Cancer Society present the 42nd Annual Telethon. 42 determined to find a cure for all we do. The Telethon will be held Saturday, February 22nd from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at Premier Catering and Events at Genetti Ballrooms, 1345 North Church Street in Hazel Township. The Telethon is made possible each year by these sponsors. Hi, I had a very minor uh, fender bender tonight in an unreasonably narrow fast food drive through lane. Don't worry, I have everything handled. I already spoke to our Allstate agent, and I know that we have accident forgiveness, which is so smart on your guys' part. Like, the fact that they'll Four just... weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. Have your event with Whitetail, graduation, birthday, bachelor, reunion parties? They have the most tranquil backyard experience with beautiful mountains in the background. If your company or business wants a different alternative to a golf outing, they have outings that can accommodate you. You can have the entire facility to yourself. They will work with you to set up your day of events. Sporting clay competitions, trap and wobble trap games, skeet. After a day of shooting, you'll return to a meal designed for you. Call Mike at 570-535-6123 for available group options. Do you like craft beer? Do you want to learn the right way to sample wine? How about visiting a restaurant that has a unique flavor or a crazy food challenge? These are just some of the things we'll be featuring on our show. Wine, hops, and road stops. Jeff Bonomo and his co-host, Alan Gennetti, welcome you into the world of craft beer, great wine, and good food. Wine, hops, and road stops. 